Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. <coughs> so, in the last episode, we got Dawnbreaker put it on display. And um, I was kind of wondering what to do next. Um, we could go to Markarth and then do all of these three, well, all these um, three um, things. Well, this is going to take like a little while. I'm trying not to fast travel too much, um, you know, and everything like that. But it is what it is. Um, and, th and then this as well. Um, of course, I'm probably not going to go back to Riften anytime soon. Um... Yeah. Because uh, one of them, Madras, is in actual Markarth. I don't want to go to Markarth just yet. So I th I'm thinking... Um, of going into... Um, well, I want to join the Dawn Guard eventually. Yeah, let's do that. Well, first I need to get a crossbow. Shouldn't be too hard. By the order of the Yarl, stop right there. One thousand fucking go. Okay. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Until next time. Just got robbed. One thousand gold. What? What? <laughs> what? You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved okay. Swords. I mean, that's a bug, but okay. Your path has brought you to the finest Fletcher in all the land. Hello and well. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman.
Oh. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. Interesting. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markarth. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I think I may wait until the burning of King Olaf to have a spiced wine. Ah, uh, you and everyone else. Apples, tomatoes, it may not leeks, and cabbages. Fresh and ripe. Yes. Yes? Not too poorly. Helped Orion replace some of the mountain racks in the Hall of Heroes that were loose. I suppose if we're doing busy work like that, things are quiet enough. Excuse me, I must return to my duties. This is quite the collection. What do you think of the museum? It's fantastic. You really recovered all this yourself, did you? Simply amazing. Henry could spend all day in here. Sheesh, that looks heavy. <laughs> oh, it's so neat. I just love all these weapons and armor. They're so amazing. What can I do for you? Oh yes, I have in fact been researching the location of an artifact of interest. If you have the time, you could investigate it. I'll mark the location on your map. Let me know if you uncover anything. See you around. Well now.
Oh, you know what? I might as well do a golden goal of state. Got a minute? Wanted to say something. Being brought up by a poor family, I had to learn how to steal if I wanted to make ends meet. Greenjolf actually caught me trying to pick his pocket in the market. If he was anyone else, I would have gotten away with it. I'm so glad Greenjolf decided to let me abandoned, join. Huh? Been yeah. trying to make some coin for him ever since. So, is it true? Keep to the shadows. Wanted to say something to you. Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living. With my lock-picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. It's where a cl usually oh. it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... Well, to kill someone on their behalf. I think you're all right. In fact, I'm kind of... I could crack the lock on any house blindfolded before you even got your picks out of your pocket. I've seen a lot of thieves come and go, but I've never seen anyone as good as me. Some other time, perhaps. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. Now. I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. Mm. What changed? We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. You never ha ha had to do that before. No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. And Garthek? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. Brynjolf pulled me in a few years ago. Used to run with a bandit clan in the Pale. Turns out I didn't like them, and they didn't like me. <laughs> so we parted ways. Brynjolf said the guild was lacking some muscle. So I joined up. Always a pleasure.
back with good news, I trust? No, I don't want to click the sweep job. Uh, I heard you ran into trouble with at Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips on to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Cool. No one dies. Remember that. All right. We're not assassins. <clears throat> I'm still here. You need to wait here. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Cool. All right. This is a solo mission, and I need to do alone. Which is it? Ooh. I'm certain that the, the, there are, there's some kind of rival thief, thieves guild manifesting itself up here in Windhelm. As soon as things settle down, down with your own, why don't you send someone up here to investigate? I think you'll find I can open quite a few, few door, doors for the guild once you've reestablished yourself up here. Remember, friends are difficult to come by these days. Don't disappoint me. Okay. Come on, come on! You gonna buy something, or just stare all day? Are you serious? I've moved all over Skyrim selling these bits of junk, Rare and I'm barely scraping by. Well, let's all raise a flagon to Ulfric, future king of Skyrim and bringer of poverty to the working class. Say, you look like you could handle yourself. Maybe you can help me, if you're looking for work. Possibly. I need someone to pick up supplies from Naranya, living in Windhelm. Exotic ingredients, I have them all. That was a little bit of a I, I, I nonsense. Thank you. Just bring it back to me, and I'll gladly pay you for your trouble. Don't ask any questions, all right? Just bring it back to Rare me. Trinket. You gonna buy Body something, or Morrowind. just hear everything I've got on display? Really? Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness knows I could use it. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest? I do. Sadly, only tr Would you be interested in gathering some? But Thank you, Land Strider. I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a Gen chunk of gold ore. Exotic ingredients, I have them all. Just what you see here. Safe travels, Landstrider. Welcome. Let me know if you see anything you like. Protect yourself right. Take a Buy look. Armor from Grelka. Where am I? Keep your eyes to the road. I have to find flawless amethysts somehow.
What was that? I guess I was just hearing things. Where are you? Yes, I can. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, 
What's an expert lock? Oh, excuse me, I'm half the hiccups.
Draconian blade, huh? Very interesting. Ah, boss, never should have come. Ugh. Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I had little choice. I just want the key to your safe. I can't. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. Or I can. I don't believe you. That's not your way. No, I'm not about to let you ruin everything I've worked so hard for. What was that? Nothing. Did you hear something? Is someone there? That's your... Now you're mine.
Arangoth. This document acknowledges the sale of Golden Golden Estate and all property assess, assets and materials contained within. Payment of the property has been made in full by Gajul Lay. I ever pronounce that as an agent on behalf of the buyer. All dealings with the Thieves Guild and Riften are, are to cease immediately. To deter any possible re retribution up for this act, you are to take immediate steps to protect our assets in any way, way you see fit. I think you'll fi find that the Th Thieves Guild is far more bark than bite and will likely have void Golden Glow rather than, than thin their already dwindling numbers. Good luck, and may th this be the start of a long, lucrative partnership. Catfish, huh? Mournhold, Mournhold, Vivek, and Clockwork. I'm very interested to see Mournhold and um, Clockwork and uh, Vivek City in Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. I am. I just. I literally just started a playthrough of it yesterday. If you're ever interested in it. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. And here's what was in the safe. Let me take a look at what you found. Arangoth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. Well, he's Golden dead now. <laughs> had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea. Blast. Well... I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Good, it's about, um... Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. So what does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Speaking of which... <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whip lot. Keep doing right by us. And there's plenty more where that came from. 500. Meat, lad. Come here, as. I'll show you what If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. Thank you. Thank you. This is my chest. Shadow marks. 
Need to know your way around, eh? Don't want want to stumble into a necromancer's house or fall into a trap set set upon the city guard? Then you need to read this book from cover to cover. Learning to identify a, the shadow mark can mean the di difference between making a fortune and ending up with a blade in your gut. The cl clever little marks are carved all over Skyrim, mostly on door frames or fronts of buildings. You you can find them pretty much anywhere a thief's been. In 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 the way way we we talk to, it's the way we talk to each other, without talking, keeps the new newer thieves from becoming dead thieves and all that nonsense. There aren't that many of the bloody things, so I don't want to hear any excuses about not have not, not having the time to learn them. Anyway, enough about gabbing. Time to put your wizard's cap on, on and do a little research. All right, the shadow mark, the guild. Okay, the guild. This is a symbol for the guild. This means this place is as safe as a fla as the flagon cistern. If you see a sh the sh this shadow mark, someone in the guild is nearby for certain. Safe. We usually leave these sh this shadow mark when we've scouted and found a safe way around something, a hallway without traps, or maybe a house that's already cleared out. If you see this one of these, head that head, head the way it's pointing, and you'll be fine. Danger. If you see this shadow mark, head the other way, or take your life into your own hands. It means there's something ahead or beyond that door that wants to turn you inside out. Escape route. Now, on rare occasion, it better be the rare occasion if you want to work in this guild, that you find yourself in jail. Look for this little beauty. You will you see this shadow mark and escape is just a few steps away. Protected. We put these shadow marks on places we don't want you to go. As in, stay out of there or there's going to be a boot, boot up the backside. These people are on the guild's protection and should never be robbed or assaulted. Fence. This should quickly become become your favorite shadow mark. This, the person near near the this shadow mark will buy your hard earned stolen goods for for a fair price. Thieves cash. Who say says we only take and never give back? If you find the this shadow mark near a chest or maybe a hollow log, you're in for a surprise. A gift. From the guild for a f for a th for the thief in the field, whoever whoever said said membership didn't have its privileges, and loot. <laughs> the loot mark. There's something near this sh shadow mark worth stealing. Save you from breaking into a place only to find that people don't have two septums to rub together, and then empty. The opposite of the well this one doesn't why doesn't this not have a whatever all right this should have a mark credit oh well Anyways. Anyways, uh, well, guys, I will leave the episode there. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, join the Discord, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.